Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ignite with me, where today we have the Asylum 13 Connecticut. Now, I can't do this all the time, okay, per se, um, but I do get, as an employee of Vitola Fine Cigars Tuscaloosa, thanks to the very benevolent, you know, upper management, uh, the owner and um, the ops manager, both of whom are very great people um they will present to us ship cigars every now and again for free okay now i do have a duty to smoke them on ship in this instant okay in this instance i have uh simply rolled over into the next week not on purpose okay but quite, I guess, by mistake, and I still have some ship cigars left. I did not smoke all of the cigars that I got, uh, that I had on shift, okay? I usually try to manage like two, two a night or something like that. So every now and again, I'll have a surplus of, of these ship cigars going into next week. Okay, and that's what this is. I cannot always review these, and I can never review them at Vitola. But what I wanted to show you is that, indeed, we're going to review this particular ship cigar since tomorrow I get a new round of cigars. So it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay, but this is Asylum 13 Connecticut. Asylum's a very popular brand. We have some very rare ones sitting in the shop now. So right off the bat, that this is a very easy smoke, not hard at all, okay, very soft on the palate. It is not harsh, not even in the slightest. If you have a del if you have delicate taste buds, or if you don't want to smoke anything super bold, this might be your guy. It has some citrusy kind of notes. The prevailing notes are going to be the cedar and the citrus. And when I say prevailing notes, I mean the things that hit you right away. Now, I've read a review that says that there's honey. I don't taste honey at this. And I really don't taste vanilla. I do not taste vanilla. I had I wanted to take another puff to make sure. I do not taste vanilla, so I don't agree with that review. I don't always agree with the reviews I read on these cigars, and a lot of times I'll check cigar, Cigars International, and if I agree with it, I'll say, yeah, but if I genuinely can't see the taste notes, then I I don't, I don't say those things, because uh, I don't want you to get it and be like, hey, this doesn't taste like that, you know. I do want to be very straightforward with you. I'm not tasting any vanilla or any honey, okay? Um, I'm tasting predominant, predominantly cedar and citrus. I lean towards like an orange, okay? If I were to describe the taste. I don't know what it is, but it's not like a lemon citrus. But this is a fantastic cigar, especially if you want something light and easy on the taste buds. This might be your guy, okay? So with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you all have a great day and be blessed and safe. Peace out.